Hi, it's Kayla with 5 Canadian Acres, and today I want to show you how to make newspaper pots. These are pots for your seedlings. They're quick and easy to make and basically free. You can just use things you pretty much have in your house. I also really love them because they're really efficient. If you have things that don't like their roots being disturbed, like melons and squashes, I'll plant these in there. And then when you plant them in your garden, you don't have to take them out of the pot. You put it right into the ground and it will either decompose or the roots will just grow right through it. The other great thing is that you can make them any sort of shape or size. Depending on what you use to make your newspaper pots will dictate the size of the finished product. So to make our pots we need two things. Newspaper or flyers. You can use any sort of newspaper or flyer, just not the glossy stuff. You want to use non-glossy. People could get worried about the ink, but all the ink used nowadays is non-toxic. It's perfectly safe for your garden. The other thing you're going to need is something to make the pot with. My favorite is a wine bottle because it has this little indentation in the bottom, which you'll see is really handy when we start to roll it. But you can use anything like a glass or a jar, anything basically that's a round shape. So how to make these, we're gonna take our newspaper. Now, depending on the size of your container, two thirds of this is gonna be your pot size and one third will be the base. So if you want a little pot, you'd make your strip smaller, but you want a nice long strip so you can wrap it multiple times. I did make some earlier this year and I used a really cheap little newspaper <laughs> and didn't wrap it enough time so they actually have been splitting a little bit. So I remember these flyers are nice, they're a thicker paper and we will line it up so it's got about two thirds at the top. Making sure that indentation is on the bottom of the pot or if you have a glass the opening is going to be at the bottom. Then we're just going to roll it up like that and then I like to start where the flap is and you're just going to fold over the bottom fold it over under and you just got to squish it in there and then you just hold the bottom gently and pull your container out you'll also see people gluing this edge or stapling it you can do that but it's fine without it you also find different ways to roll these you, people even do them origami style wrapping them but again this is really simple and easy and it stays. They don't always like stand up, they wanna fall over, but once you fill it with soil and put it in some sort of tray, they'll stay fine until you're ready to put them out in the garden. With these, you can also, I like to bottom water, so you can bottom water them perfectly fine. You just fill your tray up with water and these will soak and absorb it all up. If you like top watering, you can top water in these as well. You just may have to go a little bit slower to let it kind of absorb. I hope this helped give you an idea of something you can do for your garden this year. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll see me next week putting some of these newspaper pots filled with my brassicas, my broccoli's cabbages, right into the garden. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.